All right, so first question, you just kind of walk me through the process of moving the Fall Classic from Arrowhead to Kansas, to Maryville, what all went into the decision? Well, um, we were notified, I was notified last night. Uh, I got a call from uh, uh, Gary Spaney, who we work with with the Chiefs, and then Mark Donovan, the president of the Chiefs uh, organization, and they explained that uh, they were getting some pressure from the NFL uh, because of the weather, uh, the prediction of the weather, uh, that they keep that field covered on Saturday and not uncover it until right prior to game time on Sunday. They have a, a big game with Seattle there on Sunday. And so uh, I knew, you know, we talked about it, said we could understand. Uh, they did some more investigating in the morning, checked the weather again. Uh, we were hoping that maybe they would take the snow out of the forecast, but they didn't. And uh, about 1 o'clock today, uh, 1230, they, they called and said that they were going to have to go with it that way. And, uh, you know, we had gotten together with Washburn, talked with Washburn, and we agreed that uh, since it's our home game that we would play it here. And uh, we're excited about having it here. So three years ago there, during the Fall Classic, there was a pretty big rainstorm during the game and before and after. Um, does this have anything to do with the condition of the field after that? I, I don't think so, I, and I wasn't here at that time, so I don't know if there was a game the next day or not there. There was? There. Uh, there was? Yes. Okay. Well, then uh, it was one of those things where it, it happened, uh, you know, and they couldn't change anything, and they had to continue the game. But, uh, uh, you know, this is uh, um, from what – uh, Gary told me is that the, the NFL has gotten a lot tougher in the last few years on these types of situations and they just uh, they get a lot of pressure from the visiting team if the conditions aren't perfect and so that's what they're trying to do. Now is this an NFL rule or just a standard operating procedure? It, it's, not, it's not an NFL rule. We talked about that. It's not a, it's not a rule but it's, uh, it's highly recommended <laughs> by the NFL and I, I think that uh, you know that, that carries a lot of weight and, and and obviously the the Chiefs want to you know want to have as best conditions they can for their game, and so uh, unfortunately that's what happens. Some of the auxiliary services around the game say concessions and the tailgate um, that wasn't plan planning on happening here at Northwest and now has to be implemented and happen. Um, will there be any change in services or anything? No, I, I think that you know I, everything uh, it it'll be uh, like a home game here, and uh, we're going to have everything the suites. Uh, our suite holders will have their suites. Uh, you know, uh, the Northwest family here, uh, from grounds to administration, uh, everybody, when this came about, everybody just pulled together and said, we're going to get it done and we're going to make it a, a first-class event. And that's what we expect to be uh, at 1 o'clock on, on Saturday. Is uh, Northwest making accommodations for Washburn fans that bought tickets for the game to come up here and possibly watch the game? No, uh, what we're doing on the tickets is everybody will be refunded. Okay. Everybody. Uh, Washburn fans will be refunded. If they bought them through Washburn, they'll be refunded from them. Uh, our fans will be refunded through us. The ones that bought tickets through the Chiefs will be refunded through the, the Chiefs. Uh, none of those tickets will be used. They will purchase, everybody has the option of purchasing tickets for this game. Our season ticket holders uh, have the option of having their seats. Uh, we'll hold those seats right up until game time uh, for them, and anybody else can get online or purchase them at the ticket office. Uh, we're going on, uh, the ticket office uh, is going to open up, I think, today. At, uh, I think it's already open uh, in, in the uh, uh, administration building. We're going to continue to sell here tonight uh, in Lampkin, and then we'll do the same thing tomorrow. The, the uh, ticket office will be open from 8 to 4.30, and then from 4.30 to 8.30, we'll sell here. So uh, I, hopefully we can accommodate all our fans. That's what we want to do. Will there be a change in, will this game be televised on the MIAA network or anything? No, yeah. it, uh, this was not, uh, the, the, the MIAA game of the week is uh, at, at Central Oklahoma. It's Pittsburgh State at Central Oklahoma. That doesn't change anything. Uh, it'll be webcast just like it would have been. So, uh, uh, it, you know, really it's just, we just took that game and moved it here, and everything else will stay the same. Well, there, has there been any, can you describe some of the challenges you guys have faced while during this? Well, it, you know, I, I think the biggest challenge is the ticketing thing, and uh, I know that Mark Clements, our uh, uh, associate athletic director in charge of that, has really done a great job with that. Uh, that That's a huge challenge. But er, everybody, you know, the band, it's a big challenge for them. Uh, our video board people, uh, all of a sudden we got to bring them in. Uh, Will Murphy's crew has got to come in. Uh, you know, the, time, the people that run the score clock, the scoreboard, uh, all those things. You know, everybody has to work together. Our grounds people, uh, 
had actually uh, winterized some of the, the, the stands because they were going to leave them that way until next week for a playoff game. They're coming in and getting things done already, and uh, everybody's pulling together. We're going to get it done. So this game has been used historically in the past as a great chance to showcase Northwest Athletics to recruits in the Kansas City area and even some a little bit outside of Kansas City. Um, do you think that will affect the football program in any way, shape, or form by not having this game? Well, you know, obviously it's it's a huge recruiting tool for us, and, and we're disappointed from that standpoint that we can't play there, but uh, that's just a fact. I mean, that's reality, and uh, we'll adapt and uh, move on. Uh, North, or the Chiefs, um, you guys, felt, they felt like they did what they had to do, talked about all the challenges facing you. What about just kind of the disappointment? You guys have really enjoyed this game for quite a while, and then you have a year like this where it gets canceled. What about just the disappointment surrounding it? Well, you know, it's a disappointment for everybody. Uh, you know, it, it's a, our fans have really embraced it, and, and it's been great for them. Our players love it. Uh, you know, coaches get, uh, you know, a thrill out of being there. The band, it's a huge thing for the band. So, yeah, there's disappointment, but, but it's, that's, like I said, it's just reality. Uh, sometimes those things happen, and uh, you just move forward. And, uh, you know, more than anything else, we're going to make it a great event here Saturday, and we have a chance to... Uh, clinch conference championship Saturday, and that's what we're going to do, and we're going to do it in Bearcat Stadium. Does this affect game day at all for the players? No, well, it just changes uh, changes their routine a little bit from being on the road to being at home. Uh, uh, some of the players said, hey, it's great. We can sleep in our own bed Friday night. So uh, the, the, I think the coaches and the, and the team, have, they've, they've taken a very positive attitude to it. And they, uh, you know, the seniors are excited to have another game in Bearcat Stadium. And then last one, does this have any effect on the game moving forward at Arrowhead? Will it be back there again next year? Uh, that's still, uh, th there's lots of question on what we're going to do as we move forward, uh, you know, but uh, those questions will be answered uh, long after the season's over. All right. All right. Thank you. One more question. Oh. Just on the financial end of things, um, does, how much money do, will, do it cost to really host the game at Arrowhead Stadium and will Northwest see any kind of... Um, Will they redistribute the, that money elsewhere? Or? We we are in negotiation with the Chiefs, and uh, you know, I, because they moved the game, uh, we'll be compensated and we'll be taken care of. I, I feel very confident that the Chiefs are a first class organization, and they're gonna they're gonna live up to their end of the bargain.